I stepped out of the conference room and into a green flash. Grim Whisper was in my hand a split second later. Put that thing away, boy, before someone gets hurt, starting with you. It was Dex, an angry-sounding Dex. I holstered my weapon and realized Dex wasn't alone, which would have been bad enough. Two figures were standing next to him. I squinted as my eyes adjusted to the after-effects of the teleportation circle Dex used. It was TK and LD. Dex was dressed in his mage casual look, gray dress shirt, blue jeans, and work boots. Actually, I was surprised he was dressed at all. LD was dressed similarly, opting for a black t-shirt instead of the more formal dress shirt. Only TK looked out of place. She was wearing black combat armor and appeared ready to take on a group of enemies. For her, this was mage casual. LD gave me a quick look of sympathy that said, Brace yourself, while TK glared at me as if I had broken into forty and stolen an artifact of value. It wasn't a good look. On the glarometer, not even a clint glint could withstand TK's withering gaze. You didn't think to call us, TK said, her voice slicing through the air like a scalpel through skin. You actually thought it best to tackle this situation on your own? I looked at LD, who shook his head. Monty said not to call you, I answered, knowing it was the wrong answer. It was his idea. He said it would protect you. Protect us, TK replied, and I took a step back. Her two words expressed anger, disappointment, and more anger. She was pissed. He can barely protect himself, especially now. Are you daft, boy, Dex said, placing a gentle, crushing hand on my shoulder, making me wince. We should have been the first on the scene. Now you have to deal with... Dex glanced at Jessica. The Black Orchid. He said the sect name like a curse. Whoa, I said, raising my hands. I didn't call her. She just showed up. They usually do, TK said, narrowing her eyes at me. Like mold or an unwanted growth. We'll deal with her in a moment. What did you do? I didn't do anything, I said, suddenly defensive. Monty used blood magic. I couldn't stop him from casting again, and then... I wasn't referring to that, TK answered. Your energy signature is a mess, more so than the last time I saw you. What did you do? I don't know. Ack, boy, Dex said, glancing at me. She's right. You're a proper mess. Thanks. I'll deal with it. Not on your own, you won't, TK said. We'll deal with it, but first, your guest. Dex stepped around me and looked at Jessica closely. Farsight division, he asked, then pointed at the large black cat. A daughter of Bast? Well, at least they're taking this seriously. How many seconds? Jessica stood frozen in place, her expression one of shock. The cool, collected Black Orchid agent had left the building. In her place stood an awestruck mage rookie. To her credit, she regained her composure almost immediately. Three seconds, Jessica answered. I've just begun at Farsight. Three seconds, Dex scoffed. You're a novice. He glanced at TK and LD. This is sending a lamb to slaughter. Forget what I said about taking this seriously. Who did you cross, girl? Excuse me? Jessica asked. I don't understand. Of course you don't, Dex growled, the anger coming off of him in not-so-subtle waves. That's why they sent you. 